3, 2, 1, there we go. Isn't there a song called 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, something like that. Anyways, 849, good morning, Double R Radio. Ow, uh, where are we at September? No, we're not September, we're still in August. August the 25th, 2021. Anyways, um, hopefully everything uh, kicks in here the way it should. There we go, I think we're going to be good to go. Hopefully so. We're going to try this. It's a struggle here a little bit, but we're all good. Michael Salgado, Una Cruz de Madera. Let's go live. There we go, Michael Salgado, Cruz de Madera, and a Madera, Madera, Madera. Anyways, good morning. Here we are, Wednesday morning, hump day, Wednesday, 849, part of the mañana, August the 25th, 2021. My thumb hurts. Where was my thumb? I wonder if my thumb didn't hurt yesterday. It hurts this morning. It doesn't smell funny. And I, I think it's okay. Anyways, I don't know, man. My, my thumb's acting up here a little bit. What's going on with that? What's up with that? Anyway, sister, good morning, Jada Ganata. Seeking taxes in La Casa Star Reyes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, um. <sighs> man, trying to relax here a little bit. Anyways, also, good morning, Jada Ganata. And Marie Luna, who says, Mr. Robert Rivas, Double R Radio. Robert Rivas, I'm a busy person, Robert. I'm a party animal, Robert. <laughs> right. He said, Marie, I'm a very busy person, Robert. <laughs> I call her Miss Party Animal. There we go. And always that she's at the beach, she's at the casino, she's at a at a bar, she's out there cruising. Man, she does it all over here in San Antonio. There we go. Anyways, uh seventy eight degrees happening right now in San Antonio and uh My coffee is hitting home. It really, really is. Um, you know, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this here. We'll talk, we're going to talk some stuff here. I got some good stuff for y'all here. Now, check this out. Um, we all know that in the service we have the Army, the Marines, the Navy, and the Air Force. We always, we never include the Navy SEALs, right? The Navy SEALs. Well, anyways, there is a Navy SEAL, a person who was a Navy SEAL, who claims he's done so much for our country, so much for our country, and even more so that uh, he claims that doing all these things for our country, and because he was born on Easter Sunday, he wants to be considered an Easter seal, not a Navy seal. There we go, an Easter seal, no, Navy seal, no. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to scratch that one. That one didn't work. Okay, we're going to try another one here. Uh, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. I think we're good to go. We're going to go right over here. And there we go. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let's see what else is going on here. Now, check this out. Um, United Kingdom. Now, a food company in the United Kingdom, Kingdom are struggling so much for employees. They can't seem to find employees who want to work. So what they're going to be doing, they're going to use prisoners. <laughs> prisoners are going to be are going to be cutting up meat for y'all, making the bologna, the ham at one of these food firms. So they can't find employees, so they're going to use prisoners. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go to H-E-B one day and say, man, I'm going to buy myself a good steak. Let me see here. Here we go. This looks pretty good right here. Huh? This steak was prepared by a prisoner. Man, I, I don't think I, I don't think I could do that. I, I don't think I, I can eat a steak that was prepared by a prisoner. I, I don't think I can do that. So um, more power to them in the United Kingdom. There you go. Anyways, let's see here what else is going on. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. Good morning, John. I'm going to have the double R radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez. La Jefferson Gurley. You know Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, it was the Thomas Jefferson Mustangs. There we go. I almost went to Jefferson. I almost went to Thomas Edison. But I went to La Jetson High School. You know, it's tough in today's world. It really, really is. Well, we're going to go back in the day. Back in the day here in San Antonio, it was Fox Tech, La Tecla, Lanier, La Lanier Vogue, says it, right? Burbank, Los Bulldogs, but the, right? All of that went down with the Chicano kind of a thing. There we go. 
Harlandale, los Harlandale Indians, carnal. It was all like that. So I was trying to get in the groove like that, right? So I would say, they would tell me, where are you from, dude? Yo soy de la Jetsa in the sand. They go, that doesn't sound right, Robert. It doesn't? How about, yo soy de los Rockets. No, that doesn't sound, no, that doesn't sound right either, no. All right, okay, okay all right. So I, I I gave up on that. So it, it La Jetson, Los Rockets, it doesn't sound as good as Los Mustangs, but the, it just doesn't sound right. So I gave up on all that. Good morning, John Aganata. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. Now, check this out. Speaking of inmates, I get a kick out of this, man. There's some funny stuff here. A Washington jail is offering inmates ramen noodles as incentive for getting their COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, get your vaccine, get vaccinated, and you get a free bag of ramen noodles. There we go. You know, the other day, um, I was at HEB, and I saw this lady. She bought at least, I don't know, maybe five or 600 ramen noodles, and I was going like, man, I don't think I've ever, I think I had ramen noodles one time. I didn't, they're okay, I guess. They don't fill you up. It's just like four or five noodles floating in water. Eh. Well, anyway, there we go. Washington inmates are being offered ramen noodles in, as an incentive to get your COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, good luck to them. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Good morning, John Aganata. My buddy from Alamosa, Colorado, Mr. Leroy Lujan. How you doing, Cardinal? Are you doing all right? There we go. It's the winter around the corner, man. Here comes the snow and the ice for you guys, and there you go. It's the, man, I wish we would get some of that over here, but not the way we got it last year. Just a little bit, a couple of snowflakes. You know, give us a little kind of a holiday season kind of a feel. But after that, no more. I don't want no more like we got it last year. Don't want anything to do with that. Now, check this out. <laughs> I get a kick out of the story. An Australian meth addict dressed up as a cop. Because the guy had no money and he needed his drug fix. So he dressed up as a cop and raided another drug user's home <laughs> to get his free drugs. Nothing like a drug addict getting dressed up as a cop and raiding your buddy's house because you know he's got drugs. And you can get them for free if you dress up as a cop. Crazy, right? Anyways, uh, let's see here what else is going on. Um, you know, this one here pisses me off. Check this out. A U.S. woman hit two kids with her car because she thought they were Mexican. Anyways, the woman was sentenced to 25 years. She should have gotten life. What's up with that? Really, man? Anybody who allegedly, well, not allegedly, intentionally hit two kids and tried to run them over, because she thought they were Mexican? I don't care if they're Mexican, Chinese, black, blue, purple, orange, whatever. I don't care. Just running over a couple of kids, man. Anyway, so there you go. She's been given 25 years. That's entirely too short, man. Give her life. Get rid of her. We don't need her. That's right. <laughs> All pissed off, right? There we go. Leroy says 36 degrees happening right now in Alamosa, Colorado. Dude, that's awesome weather, man. Right now over here, we're 78 degrees. Man, what I would do for it to be 36 degrees over here. I guess I could just crank up the air conditioner, right? Bring it down a little bit. It could be 36 degrees in here. There we go. Good morning, John. I'm going out to the ever so political Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Micaela. Hopefully everything is good. Now, that being said, let me see here. What else do I got? And Don't eat that. This is the one I want right here. I want you to listen to stupidity at its very best. And I'm not talking about me. Check this out. Tevangelist Jim Baker. We all know who he is, right? Anyway, Tevangelist Jim Baker complains that God cannot hear prayers through masks. So he tells everybody, take off your mask because if you're praying, God cannot hear you if you're wearing a mask. What an idiot. <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> God can't hear you because you're wearing a mask? Really? Man, and people donate to this guy? Man, how does this guy survive? 
Well, anyways, there you go. To Evangelist Jim Baker complained that God cannot hear prayers through mass, so take them off if you're trying to pray to God. Uh, man, you know, <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that no more. Anyway, there we go. Good morning, Chad. I'll get out to Kathy Soto, who says in Florida it's 92 degrees. Man, already, Kathy, in Florida, 92 degrees. You know, Kathy, I was watching some videos yesterday on YouTube. You guys in Florida, y'all are in trouble. I mean, everywhere you look, everywhere you go, there's an alligator. You know, the, the, the saying goes, in Florida, if there's water, there's probably an alligator. You know, those alligators, man, they scare me. They, I'm serious, man. Alligators, crocodiles, I don't care. I don't care, man. Those things are ruthless. They're me. They'll eat anything. Kind of reminds me of my prom date back in 78. But anyway, that's another story. But really, man, alligators, you know, crocodiles, I want nothing to do with. <laughs> I'm serious. Man, how do people get in the water over there? How do y'all do that? There's no way in the world I would get in the water over there in Florida. Anyways, good morning, Chad Aganata. Double R Radio sponsor, Dora Peña Rodriguez, Garfield, Texas, who says, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dora. Dora. Actually, Dora, they live out there in Garfield, Texas, her and her husband, Big Ed. You know, Big Ed's about seven foot nine. That's a big guy. I never want to, I never want to get in a disagreement with a guy who's seven foot nine. You know, Big Ed tells me, hey, Bobby, go cut the grass for me. Yes, sir. I'll go cut the grass, man. <laughs> Big Ed, man. You, nobody wants to mess around with a guy who's seven foot nine. Well, anyways, getting back to my story, Dora lives in Garfield, Texas, and in her back uh, we'll call it her backyard. Her backyard, like about 100 feet away, 200 feet away from her backyard. I don't know if it's the Guadalupe River, the Brazos River. I don't know. I just know they got a river in back of her yard. And I think to myself, that is so awesome to have a river flowing behind your house. But my question is this. Are there any alligators in there? That's what I want to know. Texas has their own alligators. And I want nothing to do with them, but I just think it's so cool to have a river flowing in your backyard like Dora does. Really, man, that's really, really cool. Anyways, where are we at? Uh, 901, hour number three. Let's keep it going. Let's do something by Carrie Underwood. Buenos dias. How are we doing, everybody? Wednesday morning it is, and, uh, well, you know, just... <sighs> hey, let's get back to the morning show. I'm still trying to wake up here. Uh, join me now, RobertRebusRadio.com, RobertRebusRadio.com, RobertRebusRadio.com. Click on that media player button and you'll be joining me in vivo. Orale.